Cool. So mm-hmm. I guess like uh, real quick. So what? So how did you end up um, do getting into doing Lost and Sound? Like what uh, led you to wanting to do that? Actually, I. Hey, um, I think it's kind of connected to what I was doing before I started doing it. Okay. And um, it was also connected to like just falling in love with Berlin. Okay. Really. okay. Like I'd, I've been visiting Berlin for years before I moved here. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, I would just always come back whenever I'd have the opportunity to. And, yeah. and it got to this point where um, I came here for a month uh, in 2017. Yeah. And it was like a real, I was having a think about how to reboot myself. I, um, In London, I was, a, I'd become a full-time DJ by mistake. And yeah. um, I was, I ended up, I'd sort of how, saw how London culture had really changed in the 10 years since that I'd been being a DJ. I was doing other things like bits of writing and doing, working for event companies. But yeah. um, I felt quite blessed that I was always able to kind of get like gigs at the weekend. Yeah. Um, but it was always a hustle. Um, and I saw the way that the kind of music that I was playing 10 years beforehand uh, in places like Shoreditch was very much, there was a sort of level of trust that was given to DJs mm-hmm. to kind of provide interesting sounds. Yeah. And it's all like you're trusted to the, you know, you're in a venue, I know the music that will really be good. Um, and as London became more corporate, particularly over what happened with the Olympics onwards, it became more of a kind of thing where people just wanted to get drunk and dance to the hits. Um, yeah. Fine, I love the hits. Okay. But yeah. like five years of playing, um, uh, dancing in whatever it is that, what's that Bruce Springsteen tune? Do, 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 do. Um, oh yeah, 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 like that, or Whitney Houston, or oh, yeah, yeah. or or yeah, or Bump and Grind, or or any of these songs. They're all brilliant, but like it just felt like the, there was this limited palette of music that you could play, um, and it just got smaller and smaller. And like the uh, the people, people get more and more drunk because working in London is is really tough um so people get really really fucking drunk at the weekend and they take it out on the dj and i was feeling like i don't like this anymore <laughs> <laughs> and so i came to berlin to think what can i do what the fuck can i do and um then i just kind of started to write and the i just got ideas and, mm-hmm. and the project came out of that um, okay <clears throat> but it's always uh, come out of this this idea that i think uh, for me, music's about inclusivity. Um, okay. It's uh, it's always gets a bit too over intellectual sometimes. I feel yeah. um, just for my own personal thing. Like I, I have so many friends that um, actually I'll rephrase that. Like I, I feel that sometimes people are excluded from the conversation of music because they don't know. They felt they're judged for not knowing what label something I, came out on or I can they definitely can't see. read music or they don't have yeah, a I, studio or whatever like that. No, um, I think this is like very important because I think sometimes, uh, honestly, like not even like just in music, but I think that the emotional intelligence that's provided by certain things yeah. um, has to be like acknowledged. And it doesn't necessarily have to come from knowing the label or knowing what key something is written in is sometimes it's just like a feeling and i think that is a thing that has to be embraced a bit more and i think this is where the actual value um is being held this is I, this is exactly it this yeah. is what i and this is the whole project is about that like it's um it's um obviously occasionally there's conversations that are technical and there's there's occasionally yeah. conversations where where it gets a bit train spottery sometimes because but that's just people's passion and that's how yeah. they're trying to someone's trying to explain something but or I'm trying to explain something but um really really it, it is about kind of humanizing uh music and kind of connecting with that like you say the emotional intelligence and yeah um and and, and like Otherwise, I, I don't like the idea that someone could really be wanting to make music, but that for whatever reason, they feel that like it's off limits to them, you know? And so it's a continual process of just talk, tapping into the emotional intelligence.